everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing my Louis Vuitton petite sock de flop unboxing for y'all I absolutely am in love with this bag it is so cute so adorable perfect for a night out perfect for the club the bar wherever it's so tiny it fits your phone your keys your cards and that's all you really need so this is the size of the box it comes with obviously the receipt the card the ribbon here's the bag itself and it's so tiny y'all when i tell you the cutest bag ever like look at this look at this look at this look at my phone like amazing okay it comes with a strap to wear crossbody now i personally might never wear a crossbody but it's always nice to have a strap for another bag um but this bag is just the cutest thing ever let's see i want to see because i've heard it makes a difference this bag was made in spain not france so it's okay um, no biggie. It's literally the same as everybody else's. Look at the structure. The structure of the bag is what makes me so attracted to it. And then its size as well. It looks so like, oh my god, it just makes you look so sophisticated, so bomb, so chic. Um, chic and so like, I don't know, just put together. Um, but I absolutely love this bag. Oops, I dropped it. Um, these straps, the strap um, is supposed to clip on right there and then right there. However, when you do strap the bag, when you do clip this on to those, um, what do you call these? These little tabs or whatever, um, it just sits awkwardly on you and I wanted to bring that up because it's just like why why would they make it I think that's like a design flaw in my mind it is because okay watch I'm in bed by the way so you guys see the bag and how tiny it is actually it is so cute I might wear it with it being crossbody but look at how these handles just like go uneven. You see how this is high up and this is down now because this is pulling it. And the same with the back side. So I would just recommend you clipping it onto the main buckle right there just so that it won't do that. I think it looks great regardless. Um, but if you don't like the unevenness of it, I would say use the if you don't like the unevenness of the strap being on where it's supposed to be buckled on to right here, the extra tab right there, just buckle it on to the main strap um, buckle uh, because then it will be nice and even and it will look like this. You can wear it with these upwards if you have that strap on or downwards. Um, this bag does not have a zipper and let me show you what it fits. So. Here's my phone, here's a mask, let's see, um, what else do I have, let's see what I have, got some chapstick, I have cards, okay, card, chapstick, actually let me put some on right now. Um, and then you could fit some keys in there as well. Um, all that stuff is in there right now. Oop, there goes the chapstick, there goes my phone, my mask. You can definitely fit just your essentials, which is why I think it's so great um, for a night out and the club or the bar, the lounge, whatever, because you don't carry much anyway. Um, so this is such a statement piece. Y'all, I love it. I think it's so adorable and 
honestly, I don't think I'll ever sell this because I can wear it forever and ever and ever and then pass it on to my daughter if I have one. Um, but yeah, this is so adorable, just like the um, Nano Speedy. Um, I love the vintage one better. So the vintage mini Speedy, it has another mini HL. Um, I love that one because it's just so tiny and surprisingly it could fit a lot if it's way more than this bag for sure. But just the style and everything, it's so classy and so cute and petite. I love small bags. That's such my thing. When I was younger, I loved big bags and now it's small bags for life. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all my new bag and I already wore it out once. Um, I went to dinner with my friend London and um, I got compliments on it and it's just, y'all, it has my heart, honestly. My favorite bag ever. Um, but yes, if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below if you want or if you are interested in getting it, but if you're unsure. Um, my review is five stars all across. I know it is tiny and you can't fit as much in it, but literally that's the purpose of it. It's supposed to be tiny. It's supposed to be minimalistic for somebody who just wants to make a statement and is going to run out the house, not needing much, and then back. Um, but, you know, I think that I hear a lot of negative reviews because of its size and what you can fit inside. I understand that the price point um, doesn't reflect on the amount that you can carry, but it does reflect on the timelessness of the bag. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, it did retail for 1300 and change. Um, with taxes, it came up to like 1400 and change. Um, I do honestly recommend this bag. Okay, I put the strap back in there and I'm putting it back up because my prized possession needs to stay untouched as much as possible. And that is it for the bag. If y'all, like I said, if y'all have any questions about it, leave your questions down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe as always. And I will see you in my next video.